Hello kids of Hope, how are you today? I hope you guys had a great one. Today, I have a very, very cool story. This story is about a kid named Sian. And Sian was nine years old. Anyone nine years old here? Hmm? Well, me, I'm not, but Sian was. Sian came from a very special family. Why was, why was this special family? Because Sian's family was rich. And I'm not talking they had a money. Sian's family had a lot of money. They are what we call wealthy. Just like a king and queen, they lived in royalty and they usually have a lot of servants and staff. Sian throughout his whole life got anything he wanted and bought anything he asked for. So, one day, Sian goes to an antique shop with his mother. You guys know what an antique shop is? Well, it's just like a shop. You can buy usually older things but just different stuff for your house decorations, bookshelves. Antique shops have at all so they went to an antique shop and Sian was walking around and staring at this and looking at that but then Sian notices that there's this thing covered with a blanket and he runs over and grab the blanket and he throws it off and you know what he sees he sees a big mirror and Sian says, I want this in my room. So he runs to his mom and he says, hey mom, I want this mirror. Can we buy this mirror? The mother says, Sian, do you really need a mirror? He says, yes, I want this mirror. I want this to put this in my room. You know, kids of hope, just like normal, Sian got what he asked for. So, they bought the mirror and Sian's parents put it in his room. And then, his parents left. So, it was just Sian and his mirror in his room. As Sian walks up to his mirror and he puts a big smile on it. But you know what? You know how mirrors usually show your reflection? Well, Sian's reflection wasn't smiling back. All he could see was a big frown. Sian's like, I think my mirror's broken. So he steps out of the mirror and jumps back and smiles even bigger. Like that. But the mirror didn't smile back. It was frowning again. Sian didn't know what to do. He was smiling as big as he could, but the mirror kept frowning back. Sian couldn't believe it. He said, what's the matter with the mirror? Sian said, you know what? I'm gonna try again tomorrow morning. So he covers up the mirror when he goes to bed. 
So, the next morning, Sian wakes up, brushes his teeth, does all the morning duties. And he says, I'm gonna try this again. So, he takes off the blanket and smiles. And he looks at the mirror. And the mirror is, as you guess it, frowning. Just frowning back at Sian. Sian's like, you know what? I'm tired of this mirror. So, Sian goes to the park to play. So now Sian's at the park and he's just doing his things as he normally does. He's just playing there in the playground, but he noticed there's a kid crying. This kid is about four or five years old. He's just crying his eyes out. Sian runs over and he says, Hey, what's the matter? The kid looks at Sian and he says, I can't find my parents. Where are my parents? Can you help me please? And Sian says, Yeah, I'll help you find your parents. So, he grabbed the kid's head and they start walking. And Sian sees a mother and a father and he runs over and he says, Hey, hey, I found your kid. And they look at Sian and the kid and they say, That's not our kid. And Sian looks at the kid and now the kid crying even more. So, they were walking and they're walking and walking and Sian can't find the kid parents. But the kid crying even more. So Sian's like, you know what? Let's go. Let's get a snack. Sian goes with the kid and he buys the kids some stuff to eat and ice cream. And they go back to the park. And then he asked the kid, you have to help me find your parents because I don't know how they look like. So the kid looks around and he sees his parents. He says, those are my parents. Those are my parents. So Sian grabbed the kid and they ran and Sian says, hey, hey, I think I got your kid here. The parents looked down and they said, Yeah, that's our kid. That's him. Sian looks over and the kid is smiling. And the parents are smiling. And they are so happy. They thought they lost their kid. As Sian walked home and he checked his pockets, he has no more money. So Kids of Hope, he can't stop by by the store to buy anything. So he gets home. He doesn't go to the store anymore. He stands in front of the mirror and he felt really, really good about helping that kid. And Sian didn't even have to try. He was just smiling on his own and you know what he saw in his reflection in the mirror guess what the mirror was smiling back at Sian you see kids of hope this mirror was special this mirror will show you how really felt inside and Sian learned that day, it wasn't all the stuff he would buy at the store that would make him happy. But what made him happy, especially on that day, was helping someone else. You see, Sian realized seeing someone else happy made him happy. And 
getting in and being able to help someone when they, they needed help gave Sian a very, very feeling happy in his, in his heart. So remember, kids of hope, helping a friend, help someone out, help someone else be happy and just lend your hand to them. Just like what Jesus did with us. Jesus was always trying to help people. That's where happiness was found when we help each other. So remember kids of hope in Philippians chapter 4 verse 4, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice the good news. The only source of true happiness is the Lord. And all the things you receive in your life that will give you happiness are because you believe in God.